Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day to you, depending where you are in the world. We are doing our devotion, nighttime devotion. It is from the devotional Lift Him Up. The title today is Christ Elevates Humanity. The scripture reading comes from Hebrews 2 verse 11. Both the one who makes men holy and those who are made holy are of the same family. So Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers. Jesus is not ashamed to call them brethren. Hebrews 2.11 He is our sacrifice, our advocate, our brother, bearing our human form before the Father's throne and through eternal ages, one with the race he has redeemed. The son of man. And all this that man might be uplifted from the ruin and degradation of sin. That he might reflect the love of God and share the joy of holiness. The price paid for our redemption. The infinite sacrifice of our heavenly father in giving his son to die for us. Should give us exalted conceptions of what we may become through Christ. As the inspired Apostle John beheld the height, the depth, the breadth of the Father's love toward the perishing race, he was filled with adoration and reverence and failing to find suitable language in which to express the greatness and tenderness of this love, he called upon the world to behold. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. 1 John 3 1. What a value this places upon man. Through transgression, the sons of man become subjects of Satan. Through faith in the atoning sacrifice of Christ, the sons of Adam may become the sons of God. By assuming human nature, Christ elevates humanity. Fallen men are placed where, through connection with Christ, they may indeed become worthy of the name sons of God. Such love is without parallel. Children of the heavenly King. Precious promise. Theme for the most profound meditation. The matchless love of God for a world that did not love him. The thought has a subduing power upon the soul and brings the mind into captivity to the will of God. The more we study the divine character in the light of the cross, the more we see mercy, tenderness, and forgiveness blended with equity and justice and the more clearly we discern innumerable evidences of a love that is infinite and a tender pity surpassing a mother's yearning sympathy for her wayward child. The heart of God yearns over his earthly children with a love stronger than death. In giving up his son, he has poured out to us all heaven in one gift. The Saviour's life and death and intercession, the ministry of angels, the pleading of the Spirit, the Father, working above and through all, the unceasing interest of heavenly beings. All are enlisted in behalf of man's redemption. Let us contemplate the amazing sacrifice that has been made for us. Let us try to appreciate the labour and energy that heaven is expending to reclaim the lost and bring them back to the Father's house. Let us avail ourselves of the means provided for us that we may be transformed into his likeness.
the more we study the divine character in the light of the cross, the more we see mercy, tenderness, forgiveness blended with equity and justice and the more clearly we discern innumerable evidences of a love that is infinite and a tender pity surpassing a mother's yearning sympathy for a wayward child. And just think about it. The Saviour's life and death and intercession, the ministry of angels, the pleading of his spirit, the Father working above and through all, the unceasing interest of heavenly beings. Are all enlisted in behalf of our redemption. Do we understand that? 